Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome to Mobile Wiz Tech. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can edit and upload videos to YouTube like a pro and all you need is your Note 8 or just about any current Galaxy device. So the app that we're gonna need is called Movie Maker. And many of you may be aware of that Samsung has removed that app from the Samsung Galaxy App Store. Um, and after watching the unveil for the Note 10, it makes sense why they removed it because the Movie Maker app or the Movie Maker features are built into the Note 10. And I'm sure that's the direction they're going with their future devices. So we will need that app. And I do have a link for that app in the description. So please head over to the description, download, install it, and let's get started. After installing Movie Maker, go ahead and run it and you will be presented with a message that states Movie Maker will no longer be available after the launch of Android P. Go ahead and ignore that message and tap OK. And you will be presented with a tutorial on how to use the app. So feel free to go through the tutorial and once you're done with that, you should see a screen like this. So now it's time to find your video that you want to edit and get it prepared to upload to YouTube. So on the lower right side, you should see that circle with the plus sign. Go ahead and tap that right over here. And here you will find your folder that has your video. Now, if you just recorded the video, it can take around five to 10 minutes or sometimes even longer, depending how large the video is before it shows up here. So if you just record a video and then you come here to find that video to do your edits and you don't see it, just give it some time. Like I said, five, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and you should see your video. Once you see that your video has populated, go ahead and tap on it. And then tap done. And then you're going to tap done once again. I do recommend that you hit the play button over here and watch the video because you may catch some things that you don't like that you would like to remove or delete from the video. So you tap the play button and as you see it's playing. Now if I caught something I didn't like I can tap pause and then on the right side where it says trim, tap trim, and then tap split. And as you see, the video has been split. And let's say this part of the video, the second video clip, this one over here, let's say I didn't like the beginning part of it. I can just slide that over and then go ahead and hit play and see if it caught it. If it's been removed and I'm happy with it, then I should be good to go. I can go ahead and hit save. Let's say you wanted to add an animated transition effect in between your video clips. You would just place your finger on that lower gray pane there, slide the screen over, and make sure the yellow line is in between your video clips. And once you have that, you will see on the upper right side, it will state transition. So you would just tap that, and you have a few options there. So let's say I chose this option right here. And as you can see, the animated transition effect is ready to take place. So you would just tap play, and you would see that animated transition going to play. But let's say you wanted to add a voiceover to your video before uploading to YouTube. Well, you would have to take some steps back and head over to your gallery app, locate that video, and in fact, I'll show you what to do right here. Now that you're in the gallery app, go ahead and locate your video that you want to do your voiceover on and then tap the thumbnail so that way you are in the preview screen just like you see here. And then you're gonna tap on the edit button that looks like a pencil. And then on the upper right hand side, you see the music note, go ahead and tap that icon. And then where it states video sound, 
this is the volume of the original background noise in that video so if you want it off completely just slide it to the far left and if you would like to leave some of the background noise from the original video then you can just adjust it how you like it and let's say you wanted to add a background music track to it on the left side where it states none you just tap that and then you choose a track now let's say you wanted to use one of the generic ones that's on your galaxy device you have a few options here but if you wanted to add your own music track you would tap the add background music button search for it or locate it and then add it that way now i definitely recommend that you do not use a copyrighted track because more than likely it will get flagged by youtube so go to YouTube, do a search, or go to Google, do a search for a non-copyright music track, and then save it to your phone, and then add it that way. But let's say I chose a track here, and then right where it says background music, I will just tap the back arrow, and then I will adjust the volume of the background music track to probably around here, because you don't want it too loud, or it could drown out your voice as you're doing your voiceover. So maybe around here. And then you can also preview it by tapping the little play button in the center of your screen. And if you like it, you just hit the save button. And then once you're done with that, you will head over to the Movie Maker app. Now it will take a bit of time for this updated, edited video to show up. Like I said in the beginning, maybe around five, 10 minutes or 20 minutes tops. And once you see it in there, you can proceed with the next steps of adding a voiceover to it. And I'll show you how. So let's say that this is the video you edited by removing or reducing the original video sound from, and then added the background music track to. The next step would be to tap on the plus button over here. And then you're going to tap on audio and then tap record narration. And then you're going to tap on record. Now, once you tap the record button, wait for the counter to show at least one second before you start talking. If you start talking before then, more than likely your video will not have the beginning of your speech or the beginning of your speech will be cut off. So make sure one second shows in there, then start talking. And then as your video passes along, a little bit before the video ends, you want to stop talking or you want to hurry up and wrap up your speech because more than likely, if you don't, the end of your speech will be cut off. Now, once you have that, go ahead and tap on the save button over here and you're going to name your project and then tap where it states resolution and then choose the bottom option for the best resolution and then tap on save. Now once you're done saving this, head over to the gallery app and look for the video editor folder and you should find your video in there. Watch it and if you like it, go ahead and share it to YouTube. And once you have done that, you will have uploaded a video to YouTube like a pro. If you like this video, please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. I thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.